Hello everybody and welcome. Hope you're all well. Um in the past, in the past we've looked at all of the modules, the input and outputs uh, um on the Raspberry Pi, the Arduino Uno, the SP32. Uh, we've looked at different things like pulse switch modulation, analog inputs, web servers, and different communication protocols. Uh, we've looked at Bluetooth, we've looked at Wi-Fi, and we looked at ESP now. But we're going to be moving on to um, MQTT, a message querying telemetry transport. All right, and this is moving on because we're going to start looking and it's used for IoT, Internet of Things. Um, so in this project, we're going to use the MQTT communications protocol with the ESP32 to publish um, the messages and subscribe to a topics. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the BME280 sensor. All right, humidity and temperature sem sensor. And then that um, data will then go back through a system and be shown on a dashboard right and for this we're going to be using um arduino ide to uh, publish uh, uh to configure and write the code and then what we're going to do is um in later sessions there's lots of software to be installed that is a uh, client an mqtt client uh, a broker right this is the first time we've used two boards together right it's the first time we've used the raspberry pi the esp32 together all right so let's first thing we'll do first thing we'll do we'll look at circuit all right it's a simple simple circuit We've made them before. So what all we need to do is do uh, an LED circuit, go to pin four. Right, we need to go to pin four. And our BME uh, 280, we're using I2C communications protocol. So 21 and 22 pins on your ESP32 for your data and your clock. Right, just follow your communications because you might, you know they're all labeled differently. Make sure you go clock to clock and data to data on your ESP32. So that's the uh, the circuit. That's the circuit. Okay, let's go over to where was I going to go over to? Quick fix. Right. Now, I know we're not here to be engineers, but it's good to understand how this works so we can explain it to our kids. All right. Now, as I say, there'll be two applications installed onto the Raspberry Pi. That is the Node-RED client and dashboard and the um, Mosquito Broker. These both go onto the Raspberry Pi. All right, and we use the Arduino IDE to install the software for the MQTT client on the ESP32. The way it, the way it goes, um, ESP32 outputs, called a published in, and message on. That means the LED, whenever data is being passed, the LED would be on. You go to the Mosquito Broker. This controls the... Uh, messaging the subscriptions and the topics all right that goes uh to a publishing in again i'll put to the mqtt client and message on and then this subscribes to the esp32 output it's going back so on the way back temperature and humidity the data is passed to the uh, mqtt client on the esp32 this then goes to the Mosquito Broker. 
on the Raspberry Pi, which again I told you communicates the message, uh, controls the messaging. Then the temperature and humidity, which we subscribe to, all right, on the Node Red application, uh, go to an MQTT client, and which then goes to the MQTT dashboard. And as I said, we will be. Oh, that's my dog. I hope you can't hear him. That then we will be. Uh, I've lost my chain of thought now. Then we will be uh, looking at the dashboard, installing all that later on the Raspberry Pi, but using a bit of Linux. We have used Linux before in previous sessions. All right. Now, there are some prerequisites. All right. And those are libraries. All right. So we need to install some libraries. Now, for the first two libraries, I have um, put the locations below. So I'm going to need to go over to Arduino, right? So we're on our Arduino. And first thing we need to do is go to here. Let me go to downloads. Okay, the two we need to download are the Addo, Adafruit underscore sensor, that's master. And the pub sub pub sub stands for publish and subscribe client that's master extract them right and rename them by just taking that in master and dash off so add a fruit underscore sensor pub sub client copy both of those copy both of those and i'll show you where to put them come to you wherever your arduino folder is and wherever your libraries folder is okay, and you need to paste them into here all right so there's my fruit where is it sensor there's me out of fruit sensor which i've already pasted and here's my hub sub client so that's where you need to copy those libraries now there is another library that we need to install. Remember, this is our library manager. Right, come across, just put in there BME, and you want the BME 280 library. We've installed this before in previous sessions, right? But if you're just uh, here, then for the first time, then this is how we do it. This is our library manager. If you're using the 680 sensor, right, the BMA 680 sensor, you need to install this library. Okay, and the install button's there, right? This is if you want to remove them. Right, now later on, as I said, we will be installing um, the. Um, other parts, the uh, Node Red and the Mosquito um, broker on the Raspberry Pi, but that's in the next section. Next session. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something. I've learned something. And please uh, don't forget subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next session. We will install the um, the required software. Right. Thanks very much. Bye bye.